Today, we are bringing you one of the best imitations for a sedge pupa ever created. Brent has selected the materials with all the right attributes to make this pattern truly special. This fly fished in the mid-water column is extremely effective in rivers and lakes. Brent loves this fly is various sizes and colors to match the waters he fishes. We are tying on a Mustad Seat 49S Caddis Hook Size 8 with .020 lead. 132nd Light Amber V Rib Body with Brown Marker. Medium Dun CDC Hackle. Brown Swish Straw. Extra Small Mono Eyes. Extra Small Grizzly Rubber Hackle. Dubbing Blend of Golden Brown Eyes Dub and Dark Brown Rabbit Dubbing. Hi right, folks, well, let's uh, get on a nice little caddis pupa here for you. And uh, I'll go over the materials as we go along. I've showed you the materials on the intro. Also, very important, I wanted to show you that the uh, fly when it was wet and really looks good. Uh, I'll come in here with some, uh, let me put a little lead, or brown thread on the shank there, just to kind of get everything to hold a little better. I'm going to put some lead kind of around the corner. This one's a size 8, which is be a traveling sedge. Um, you can tie these down in the smaller sizes for your other caddis imitations. Okay, and then I'm coming in with this uh, burnt or this amber, uh, very small Schwann days. So, uh, what size is this? 11, 132. Triamber. We want to stretch this uh, Schwann days out. It gets a little hard to work with. It gets pretty stiff, so we want it more pliable to just give it a good stretch. I also work uh, right on the bottom here. I'm just going to put a torch on that, get the tie in point really thin, and I'll tie that up, flat side up, right behind the lead. And we'll come forward with our brown thread here. Get a bit of a under color on that. You don't have to get it totally done, but you can change your colors if you like. And the odds are 50 50 if you get the round side up or not. It seems like you're tying it properly down there, but changes so if you got a problem with that just reverse wrap it and you got the round side up so just make sure you got the segmentation you're looking for important thing when you're when you reverse wrap like this you're gonna have to uh, make sure you got to tie it off good because you're actually you're tying thread in the and this rib is going the same direction so I'll get it down on the shank here and Make sure I got some really good turns on it so I don't lose it. There we go. Now I'll come. Don't be afraid to wrap that down tight. If you do it the other way, it doesn't take too much to hold it at all. I'll bring in a dark brown marking pin for the top. And our next uh, little feature is going to be some CDC feather. Tied in by the tip. I want that just to uh, cut that tip off there. And I, oh, didn't get her quite secure in there. That'll be fine. We're just going to fold this back as we Get a couple turns, gives a nice effect when that's wet. CDC is really cool looking stuff in the water. Oop. If I can ever get it tied off properly, there we go. Just having my first cup of coffee here, I'm still vibrating, so I'm. A little shaky okay so that'll really cover that it looks really good when it's wet that's when it works its magic okay now we want to come over the top we need some little wing buds I'm going to use some uh, brown schwandes or swiss straw 
and you can uh, just kind of flare that out a little bit and then I'll fold it back in half and just notch that down at a bit of an angle here should have a little bit of a oh where is it did I drop it maybe I did try it again okay now we'll just come in here notch it out for our uh, wing case or wing buds on the sides nice and short trim that swiss straw is pretty easy to work with it works good i'll use that for wing buds on chronomids too there we go then we'll bring in some of our next this is really fine rubber uh, legs Tie that over the top That's gonna that'll swim back. That'll be all right. It's really fine stuff. That's good now I need uh, some eyeballs And we have some here somewhere uh, some extra small mono eyes and if you can't find them, you can make them. It's with some monofilament. Burn ends with get some tweezers on. It's maybe some 20 pound or something like that. Put your eyes on there. We're just about done. Now I'm going to uh, just grab some of my uh, dubbing here. What I've done is uh, I've got quarter. This is light olive ice dub. And one third golden brown uh, ice dub, and and then I put some uh, half of that. All right, it doesn't really add up <laughs> to full parts. Or I don't know, how I got them equation, but uh, brown uh, rabbit. So I want to make sure I kind of get these fibers. I don't want to dub it on. I want to lay it on. So I want to make sure my fibers are are pretty are fairly straight. I like the ice tub, I always like the ice tub. But you want a little bit on the top. Get a little turn there. Come out between by the eye in front of the eyes now. Take a turn there. The majority of the dubbing is going to come underneath. And just make sure you get the eyes not clogged up just keep that eye clean grab my whip finish there it is dark brown blends right in there you don't even notice it and there it is it's not not real pretty on the vise, but I'll tell you, get that wet. And I don't want it too long on the top, so keep those fibers about kind of the length of the thorax. The bottom ones are good to come a little longer. Look like the legs. Boy, this that little bug right there is just as good as they come, in my opinion, for for caddis. And there's one little longer antenna is a little longer than the other one, so you can snip it off right then. Give it a trim. But a fairly simple fly to tie, just uh, better off to do it before you have <laughs> too much coffee in the morning. But I'll tell you, this is exciting to fish this way. I, I know a lot of guys, when you see these caddis popping off, uh, we're, we're, we're going to the dry flies. And I'll tell you this, these flies, you just drip them in under the under the uh, top water column there. And the fish are really, really tuned into these. These are easy picking. So... Uh, and that'll happen you don't have to wait for a hatch of course because when they're coming back they're going off into the bush and whatever and then they come back to lay their eggs in the evening so um, you, you caddis guys know that you can fish this bug all day long but don't don't be afraid and use it in lakes too some of you guys with some traveling sedges over there in bc and many places this one this one will really really uh, get the job done for you so thanks again for watching we'll catch you again 
real soon. We would like to thank Brent for sharing this special fly with us today. We hope you may experience some memorable days on the water with this one. We appreciate you visiting us today on Sports Fishing on the Fly. Hope to have you join us on our website for an abundance of videos and merchandise that will help you become a better anglers. Be sure to conserve our waters.